What up YouTube, it is your boy All About The Sneakers back with another unboxing and review video for you guys. Now today as you can tell from the thumbnail as well as the title of the video, that is correct guys, we are unboxing the Air Jordan 6 Metallic Silver, better known as Chrome. Guys, this sneaker was on my radar earlier this year, but kind of fell off of the radar due to so many drops, back-to-back -back releases. I mean, Jordan brand has been going crazy this year, and hey, I'm loving it. More variety for us, which in my opinion, you can never have enough of. However, this sneaker did drop in between two major releases, which one, the Air Jordan 1 Chicago, better known as Lost and Found, which was a big problem for the sneaker community. Some people still don't have pairs of that shoe. Resale is high to the roof. And then also the Holiday Air Jordan 11, Varsity Red, better known as Cherry, is on the way as well. Sneakers has already had a shock drop as well as a reserve, so hey man, people will be going after those pairs as well. And I feel like sneakers like this just kind of get thrown in the mix at the wrong time. Now this sneaker did release this past Saturday, November 26, 2022, and that came just a couple of days after Black Friday, so for this to be a primarily black sneaker, I don't think it was a bad drop or release day for this sneaker, considering it was the very next day after Black Friday. However, in terms of other highly anticipated releases, yeah, not not many people are probably going after this one. This sneaker did sit around quite some time on sneakers, but did eventually sell out same day, so that's a good sign. Hey, you know the motto over here on the channel, cop what you like, forget the hype, so hey, that's what we did today, and I'm glad to have this sneaker in the collection. Now, before we go any further, if you're new to the channel, or if you're not, make sure you smash that like, subscribe, and share button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos. Now, guys, there is one particular reason why I really wanted this sneaker. However, I did almost pass on this one again due to all of the drops back to back. It is a little tough for your boy as well as the prices are pretty high for retail But again, we'll go over that reason here in just a moment. However, without further ado guys Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right guys And as you can see here, I did secure my pair at Dick Sporting Goods So big ups DSG for the W on this one. I greatly appreciate it Now some of these releases have been tough to acquire so I'm really counting on DSG a lot for some reason A hey, flex JD sports all of that good stuff not really rocking with my account like I want them to like they did earlier this year Not sure what's going on. Maybe I need to purchase more sneakers just in general but that's another topic for another day. However, guys, here we have the box, and you can see my ring light there. But anyways, we do have the box here, guys. The three-quarters box, silver on one side, black on the other. As well as we have here on the lid, on the silver portion, we do have a black jump man. Now, I really like this box a lot. Very shiny. It does match the shoe, the metallic silver. But what I was saying earlier about what really made me want this shoe is this shoe right here, guys. You can see we have the exact same box, but in gold instead of silver. And for those of you who may or may not know, this sneaker here is the Air Jordan 6 DMP, which did release back in 2020, I do want to say. But as you can see, the box is exactly the same, just gold instead of silver. And we have the same scenario going on with the sneakers themselves, which we'll get into shortly. However, in terms of the topic of the day, we have our side sticker on one side of the box. And the side sticker reads Air Jordan 6 Retro. The colorway is black, metallic silver, black. This is a men's US size 10, personal size for me and the Air Jordans. And the suggested retail value for this one is 200 US dollars. All right, guys, pretty steep on the price. Again, it is the normal on Air Jordans nowadays. I'm sure that deterred a lot of people from copping this one as well. Who wants to spend $200 over and over and over, especially when you have must cops that you want before the year is up. However, let's see what we have under the lid. All right, guys, flipping the lid up on this one. As you can see, we just have the typical flip lid white underneath. A little tough to see, but we do have a lot number on our side wall of the lid. And let me go ahead and get my receipt out of the way. All right, flipping the tissue paper up here, as you can see, we do have our off-white tissue paper. And it is double layered with a white sheet of tissue paper as well. As you can see here, that kind of flips sideways over the shoe. And let's go ahead and get the shoe out. And there we have it, guys, the Air Jordan 6 Metallic Silver. A very, very clean sneaker, in my opinion. Glad to have this one in the collection. Let's go ahead and do a quick 360 on it.
Now guys, as I've already stated, this sneaker here is essentially this sneaker here. As you can see everywhere, we have metallic silver on this shoe. We have gold on this one. As you can see here on our shrouds, all the way down to the lace locks, the rear of the sneaker, as well as the outsoles. And with that said, for a lot of people, if they have the DMP, then they feel they don't need the metallic silver. But for me, I'm a little bit different, guys. I'm a collector, so A, I like to have the packs, what they call it. Packs technically used to be sneakers that came in the same pack together. However, this day and age, a pack can be referred to as a collection of sneakers of the same kind, such as this one being metallic silver and metallic gold. However, let's go ahead and dive into it real quick here, starting with the outsole. As you can see, we do have that icy outsole on this one in the forefront and the rear of the sneaker. Now, I did notice this outsole is a little bit more blue than we have on the DMP pair. As you can see here, the DMP pair has more of a milkiness look to it. However, on our midsole here, we do get black on the midsole as well as metallic silver here on the front and the rear. However, on up to the upper, we do get a jet black new buck on our upper. Very, very nice, guys. Just all over black. I dig it. It blacks the shoe out. My cup of tea, 1,000%. But what I did notice on both pairs is there is no reflective 3M in the perforated hole. And that is the same way that it was on the electric green 6 as well. It seems like these black Air Jordan 6s are not getting any 3M. I think the 3M will set them off even more, but that's just my opinion. But guys, other than that, that pretty much wraps it up for the lateral side of the shoe. Moving along. On to the medial side of the shoe, we get a very similar look as we got on the lateral side. Moving along. Taking a look at the shoe from the top down again, that blacked out look here on our midsole. Going up the front of the shoe as well in Nuba. Going up our tongue here in mesh is black as well with breathable holes. Black flat laces in place. No additional laces with this one, guys. We also get that black silky like shroud with our metallic jump man debossed here in that plastic sort of material. Going up to our lace lock, we get a black lace lock with a metallic silver jump man as well. Very clean. And we get our infamous tongue here blacked out with the Air Jordan text in that old school text form. Love it, love it, love it. Have her on to the rear of the sneaker again, all black going up the back, as well as we get a black out jump man 23 underneath in that same plastic like metallic silver material that we got on the jump man on the shroud. Now, I did notice on GS pairs this only had a black jump man on the back stitch, it did not have the 23. Some people were let down about that. I don't think it's a bad look, I actually like it better minus the 23, but I'm not opposed to having the 23 there. However, we do get a blacked out spoiler with the metallic silver strip going over the top, but that pretty much wraps it up for the rear of the sneaker. Comment below and let me know what you guys think about the little 23 on the back. Do you prefer that? Do you not prefer that? I'd like to know you guys' thoughts and opinions on it. However, that pretty much wraps it up for the rear of the sneaker. Moving along. However, guys, onto the interior of the sneaker. It's pretty tough to see inside, but we'll go ahead and state it here. As you can see, we do have this felt-like, cotton-like sock liner here in black. We also get a black insole with a metallic silver Jumpman painted on there, as well as we get tissue paper stuffed inside of the shoe. We also have our size tag on the side wall. However, last but not least, guys, onto the outsole of the sneaker. As you can see, we have that old school sort of look on our outsole, same as we got with the DMP6. Again, the blue on this one is a little bit more icy in that translucent area. However, we do get black primarily from the front to the center, as well as we get here on the heel. And we have that big jump man smack dab in the center in gray. But I think overall a pretty dope look for the outsole. You want to make sure you have sole protectors on this one if you want to keep it clean. Now, as we know, icy outsoles will yellow over time as they oxidize. So, hey, you might want to keep this one stored properly if you plan on hanging on to it and rocking it later or just keeping it in general. But again, sole protectors, anything that can protect your outsoles and keep it clean, that will help guys if you're a neat freak like myself or OCD, should I say. However, overall, pretty dope for the outsole. Moving along. All right, guys, and you just saw it right here on all about the sneakers, the Air Jordan 6 Metallic Silver, a very, very clean sneaker in my opinion. So, so glad to have this one in the collection. All right, guys, comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this sneaker after seeing it here on the channel. If you have the DMP6 or the Metallic Silver and you prefer one over the other or if you don't have either you still prefer one over the other comment below and let me know guys i like to get you guys' comments thoughts and takes on this one as you know i'm always in the comments responding now once again if you're new to the channel or if you're not make sure you smash that like subscribe and share button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos now when you get a chance guys head over to ig and follow me at all about the sneaker spell exactly the way it is here on the channel with the z on the end instead of an s i greatly appreciate it i'll also have that linked in the description below now i do want to thank you guys as always for tuning in and rocking with your boys you know i rock with you guys 1000 percent However, that is all I have for you guys today on this episode. Until the next episode, keep keeping it all about the sneakers. Once again, it is your boy, All About the Sneakers, signing off. Until the next episode, I will catch you guys later. Salute, I'm out.